Attempted coup on Ibrahim Traoré fails. Who is behind this? Friday, September 8, three soldiers in Burkina Faso were arrested and charged with plotting against the junta, the country's military prosecutor. It is said that investigators from last month received a tip-off about soldiers and former soldiers working in intelligence who were scouting out the homes and other locations used by key figures in the junta including Captain Ibrahim Traoré. This coup aimed to destabilize the transition, it said, referring to a term used to describe interim military rule before promised elections. Further investigations led to the arrest of the three, who had been ordered detained by an examining magistrate. They have been charged with involvement in a military plot, plotting against state security, breach of military orders, criminal association and endangerment, Military prosecutor Major Alphonse Zorma said in a statement. The three were named Warrant Officer Windin Malady Cabaret, Sergeant Bryce Ismail Ramde, and former Corporal Sami Dar. Back in 2015, these three officers had been convicted in a plot against the state. They want to remark on history. According to Zorma, the three unequivocally admitted the facts. For those who might be wondering who Ibrahim Trahare is, he the interim leader of Burkina Faso since September 30, 2022. He toppled Colonel Paul Henry Sandogo Damiba, who little more than eight months earlier had ousted Burkina's elected president, Rock Mark Christian Cabaret. Having ranked as a captain in the Cobra Special Forces Unit, he fought wars and battles like the Mali War, Islamic Insurgency, and Burkina Bay coup d'etat January 2022 and September 2022. Traoré, who is now 34, is currently the youngest serving president in the world. He went into office on October 6, 2022 as interim president of Burkina Faso and on September 30, 2022 as incumbent president. Since his rise to power, Ibrahim Traoré has not been quiet his speech at the Russia-Africa Summit, held on July 27 to 28, 2023, gained him some applause. He stated the problem is seeing African heads of state, who bring nothing to people who are struggling, singing the same song as the imperialists who call us militia. As a result, they end up referring to us as people who do not respect human rights. He went ahead to add, we African heads of state, must stop acting like marionettes who dance each time, the imperialists pull on our strings. Last year, Burkina Faso experienced two coups, both of them fueled by anger within the military over the toll from a long-running jihadist insurgency. Shortly after Ibrahim Traoré's takeover, military prosecutors in December said there had been an attempt to destabilize state institutions. The impoverished Sahel state is one of Africa's most turbulent countries, enjoying few periods of stability since gaining independence from France in 1960 as the Republic of Upper Volta, now called Burkina Faso. Those behind it were identified as civilians and a lieutenant colonel named Emmanuel Zamgrana. More than 16,000 civilians, troops, and police in Burkina Faso have died since jihadists in neighboring Mali launched their campaign in 2015. According to an NGO monitor called the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, more than 2 million people have been forced to flee their homes, creating one of Africa's worst internal displacement crises. Burkina Faso's military leader Captain Ibrahim Traoré spoke out on Thursday, September 7, 2023, concerning the attempted coup against his government confirming that some elements of the army wanted to seize power, according to local media reports. Last weekend, there was speculation after rumors circulated on social media networks of a coup attempt against the transitional government. On Sunday night and Monday, demonstrators presenting themselves as Ibrahim Traoré's supporters gathered in the capital to protest against the alleged attempted coup addressing civil society organizations and religious leaders in the capital Ouagadougou. Ibrahim Traoré said he knows the perpetrators, but he prefers dialogue instead of arresting them. This was reported by local Radio Omega. 
The president asked for the support of everyone because some forces are trying to sabotage the government's efforts and undermine morale. Captain Trahare also asked the participants to be vigilant and to be ready because the path to democratic rule will not be easy. The president reportedly claimed that there is money being distributed to influence certain elements to destabilize the government and asked those in the meeting not to fall for it. Following the coup d'etat, in an interview broadcast Wednesday evening by radio television Du Burkina, RTB, Burkina Faso is not an enemy of the French people, said Captain Ibrahim Traoré, transitional president. We are not enemies with the French people. It is the policy of those who run France which poses a problem in Africa. So as long as a state is not in an imperialist spirit, there is no problem, he said in this interview recorded on August 31. We must agree to look at each other as equals, and we must agree to review all of our cooperation, he added. Without naming it, he criticized France for having given independence and placed people at the head of certain states. According to him, we have led people to sign a lot of agreements which prevent us from developing, adding that imperialist states are not just France. There are others, he said without quoting them. Captain Ibrahim Traoré, who came to power almost a year ago, also questioned the effectiveness of the presence of French soldiers in Burkina Faso as part of the anti-jihadist fight, which he demanded the departure in January. Burkina has since been seeking new cooperation. We have new partners who support us in terms of equipment and other things, he added, without naming them. Burkina Faso's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Olivia Rowamba, expressed her country's desire to strengthen bilateral cooperation with Iran on Monday during an interview in Tehran with President Ibrahim Rossi. He reaffirmed his country's support for Niger, the scene of a coup d'etat on July 26 with which Burkina shares the so-called three borders area between Mali, Niger and Burkina, considered a den of jihadist groups. An era is over, that in which France positioned itself as the anti-jihadist policeman of a region five times greater than its territory, wrote right-wing French newspaper Challenges, in an editorial calling for a serious rethink by Paris of its broken-down Africa strategy. It is indispensable to listen to the concerned societies, it added, including that which doesn't please. Burkina Faso has great resources. They produce cotton, sorghum, which is really important to the Burkina Bay people. Due to the importance of sorghum to the Burkina Bay economy, the government has dedicated vast sums of money to develop the industry. One of the significant steps that the government has taken to increase sorghum growing in the country is to fund research into new varieties of sorghum. The World Bank estimated that in 2007, roughly 20% of Burkina Faso's total land area was considered arable. Despite the vast amount of arable land in Burkina Faso, the country is not considered self-sufficient in agriculture. Because of that, the Burkina Bay government has put in place a measure to grow the farming sector using modern farming methods. Some of Burkina Faso's most important crops include cotton, maize, sorghum, and millet. Recently, Burkina Bay farmers have also begun growing sugarcane on a large scale. Burkina Faso is also rich in mineral resources and produces gold, zinc, copper, manganese, phosphate, and limestone in substantial quantities. It also has reserves of diamonds, bauxite, nickel, and vanadium, the most important being gold, with the nation being the fourth largest gold producer on the African continent. However, some of these remain largely unexploited, apparently the reason why the Western world keeps pushing in. Africa, as a whole, is the major producer of important metals and minerals such as uranium which is used to produce nuclear energy, platinum which is used for jewelry and industrial applications, nickel which is used in producing stainless steel, magnets, coins, and rechargeable batteries, and other minerals like bauxite and cobalt, just to name a few. The two most profitable minerals are gold and diamond producing about 483 tons in 2008, 
making 22% of the world's total production. South Africa accounting for almost half the produce, then Ghana, Guinea, Mali, and Tanzania being the other major producers. France will be at the losing end if they have to totally cut any ties with Burkina Faso. Especially with Ibrahim Traoré's rule, whereby he is doing everything in his power to make Burkina Faso a great nation and Africa at large. Since Traoré is nothing like the Western puppet, France will need a president that works in their favor. Is it possible that the Western world is responsible for the attempted coup attack on Ibrahim Traoré to overthrow him and abolish his rule? Drop your comments in our comment section, like, subscribe, and click on the notification button to stay updated with us.